Hello everyone, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to the my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see what all the logical operators are available in the PLSQL programming. So that is a topic which we are going to see in this session. So let's begin. So guys, let's see what all the logical operators are available in the PLSQL programming. So what I will do, I will first list down all the logical operator and then we will discuss with the one example. Okay, so let me list down over here what all the logical operator are in the PLSQL programming. So as you can see on the your screen, uh, these are the logical operator are available in the PLSQL programming. So this is called as the end operator, this is called as the or operator and this is called as a not operator. Okay, so what exactly it means we have already learned in the childhood. However, briefly I will repeat it what exactly it means. Okay, so if both the values are true, then this will be true. If both the values are uh, or I can say that one of the value is true then it is true and it is a reverse uh, uh, if uh, I wanted to check uh, true then it will make a false so that kind of stuff will be there in the this logical operator okay so let's understand this with the help of one example uh, I am not going with the basic definition so let's say for example I have declared two variable over here variable 1 and variable 2 and if both the values are true if both the values are true then this entire expression will be true because I have used over here end operator. So that exactly what it means. So let's say for example, uh, if I will convert this expression as like this and then it will be true. So both the values are true, then this expression will be true. So if this expression is true, then this if condition will be get satisfied and this will execute this. Uh, statement okay so let me run over here this program so let me comment out this uh, one and then let me run over here so as you can see on this screen uh, this statement has got executed because both the values are true now uh, if I will make one of the value as false then this statement won't be get printed so let me run over here so you can see where there is no statement has been executed from this if condition. So either uh, one of uh, these uh, value is false, then this expression won't be get true. Okay, and if this is statement is not uh, got true, then of course this if condition won't be get true, and whatever the code I have written inside this if condition won't be get executed. Okay, now let me take over here example of the R. So what R says that if one of the uh, value is true, then this uh, expression will be get true. So let's say for example, this is my expression. Okay, so this is my expression, then one of the value is true, then this expression will be get true. Okay, so you can see over here, this is true and this is false. So if I have used or means either this one or either this one should be true, then only then this should go inside this one. Okay, so let me run over here. Uh, so you can see on the your screen this block has got executed okay but if both the uh, uh, values are false then of course this will be get false so let me run over here so over here what happened this is also false this is also false so if false false then uh, this statement or i can say that this expression is not true okay now uh, let me take over here uh, the other op uh, other operator which is nothing but your this one not and then if i will use this one so if not then this is uh, uh, the, then only then it will be get true okay so if this is false and if i will make a reverse of this then it will become as a true so what exactly it means it means that if this is true if this is false then only then this entire expression will become uh, true okay so you can see over here this is false so if i will write this expression like this then what not will do not will make as a true okay this will become entire expression will become this one and this is, is uh, become since true then it will go inside this one so let me repeat once again so what not it will do not it will negate it 
okay so whatever it has the value it has uh, whatever it has the value it will negate means it will reverse it so if it is false then it will make it a true if it is true then it will make a false so let me run over here so variable one is false over here so you can see over here it becomes true entire expression will become true and it will go inside so you can see over here the output came and this line got executed now if i will make as a true then this is true since this true uh, will be get replaced over here so since not is there so it will make as a false over here okay so this statement won't be get executed so you can see there is no uh, printf statement came over here so this is how it will work and this uh, we have learned in our childhood also so i hope you have understood so uh, let me repeat what exactly the this end end is nothing but if both the values are true then uh, it will give the true expression okay if uh, one of them is true then it will give the true and what it will do it will negate it means it will do the reverse whatever we have if we have the true then it will give the false if we i have false then it will give the true so that kind of stuff it will do okay so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have understood and you have seen what all the logical operator are available in the pls skill programming and if you have any feedback any question then please please write us we will definitely reply you thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care